All right. Um. Yeah. So this, this is a PayPal request from Martin, and he said, "Time to go into some like basically Swedish under, underground music." So for all the Swedish people that have clicked, um, just because of that. Yeah, I do apologise for my lack of knowing anything. Um, but what, what, what did we do? Uh, soda Stereo from Argentina. Um, but yeah, this is Hans Apple Appel Quist. Anyway, a song called On The Beach. See what I mean? I butchered that name terribly, but yeah. I have no idea what type of music this is. I have no idea, nothing. But I'm sure he said Swedish, un like underground. So, yeah, let's go. On the beach between two rocks, he kneeled before. Chair. On the chair sat a woman with her eyes fully closed and sang for meaning in life. Mm -hmm. She sang for meaning in life. Sang for meaning in life. Okay. Go and get in your bed, Nala. Bed, go. Bed. Now. Lie down. Yeah, this is already. I like this. I like this. It might, Nala, get on your bed. What do you think? I'm joking. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I really like this. It gives me a kind of not. Like the bright eyes reactions I've been doing, where it's kind of this mixing of you don't quite know what's going on. Like you've got that weird, like that synthy sound in the background. Which at first I thought is this going to be hip hop? Is it going to be dance music? And then he started playing this beautiful folk track, basically. Um, so I wasn't expecting that, but it gives me kind of bright eyes vibes in that sense of like it's kind of a blending of two worlds almost with that synth and then the folk singing and the guitar but the song itself is fire right if you just took out the kind of even though that's adding a kind of uh, an air of intrigue to the song um if you took that out and just had it an acoustic guitar and him singing it would still be a great track but that definitely adds some type of mm, this is different on the hill by the beach stood a group of old women they stared at the couple between the rocks never before had they heard music sounding so pure mm. They prayed for Naima's health. She took out her watch from her blue silk shirt and told him that time hadn't stopped. With his eyes still on her, she mumbled, Okay. And teardrops fell from his eyes. Mm. Teardrops fell from her eyes. Nala, bed. Teardrops fell from their eyes. Hold on, we'll stop there. I'll go back a little bit. This tune's well good because it sounds kind of ancient. The melody to it, the words, there's some women by the beach and 
they ne- do you know what I mean? It's kind of this like real like conjuring this ancient kind of um vibe, like mystical, mythical type of melody to it and the words just suit it so well. This is a great tune. Get on your bed. Sorry, I was vibing to that then. She keeps being naughty, basically. (laughs) 
That was fire. That was fire. Very melodic. That ending was like so unexpected. Like I say, bright eyes. If anybody's watched this and is new to the channel, check if you like this band, you'll like Bright Eyes because there's a similar. It's done in a different way, but it's that mixing of the kind of electro world with the traditional guitar vocal world, the singer songwriter world. Like, and both bands have great songs. Like the songs themselves, they don't need all that extra ness, but the extra ness is great because they didn't. It didn't ruin the song. It kept a, it completely changed from the folky kind of ancient guitar playing and melody. Um, yeah. Into like electro, I'd say that's the closest I could think of. Electro. The, like yeah that was mad and even like the, the the crossover was like you could hear it was recorded it was almost like the, the the little crossover bit was recorded on like a tape recorder one note at a time because you kind of had this fade into silence on it like yeah the the recording trickery they did i will say it was completely unnecessary the song as itself was fire but with that it just takes it into a whole different realm of yeah yeah that was crazy i was not expecting that i was not expecting that if anything i was expecting the end more than the actual song bit because i thought his voice was great i thought his words was great it definitely captured and set a tone and a mood to the track. And that's what's kind of crazy. That electro sound didn't really, like, completely change the feel of it somehow. Like, yeah, that's a great track. Great track. And the puppy's asleep. See? I know that dog. She stands there, looks at me, stands there when I'm recording, just looking at me. And she's tired. She needs to go to sleep. She's just come back from a walk. And that's why I recommend getting a cage. Because sometimes if you, like now, where I shouted at her and told her to get on her bed that time, she knows now. And literally, the next time I turn my head which I, and, and checked on her, she's flat out. It's unbelievable with that dog. She's just, it's literally like a kid. She will wander around unless I tell her to go to bed and she's asleep in seconds. But that tune, fire. Yeah, I thought that was fire and, and not at all what I expected. That was, yeah. That was, I don't even know what to put into words. There's, like I say, the nearest I can say to that is Bright Eyes. And I recommend if Swedish people just clicked on this because you're fans of this guy, check out some Bright Eyes. And if you don't want to check out, like, I've got reactions to Bright Eyes. And if you want to kind of, yeah. But I recommend Bright Eyes because that's, I think that them two bands together, there's a definite, a similar kind of uh, process, I'd say, but a different end product. Um, but that was fire. Yeah, fire. Yeah, that's the reaction. Sweet.